Welcome to Science Excel, where our motto is to enhance the learning curve. In today's tutorial, let's understand the concept of states of matter. We have all heard of the term matter. Can you give me some examples of matter? Hmm, I think a book, a car or a house. You are absolutely right. But did you know that every known thing in the universe is made up of materials or in other words, matter. Everything that we come across in our lives, like the air we breathe, the clothes we wear, the food we eat, literally everything we can think of, including you, is made up of matter. Now let me explain the characteristics of matter. Matter is made up of very small particles called atoms and molecules. Particles of a kind of matter are identical. The space between the particles is called as intermolecular space. A force of attraction exists between the particles of matter which holds them together called the intermolecular forces of attraction. Particles are in a state of random motion as they possess kinetic energy. As we dwell further, you will learn that these are the properties which decide the three main states of matter. So what are the three states of matter? The three physical states of matter are classified as solids, liquids and gases. Now let us understand the concept of solids. We see a variety of things in our day-to-day -day lives like our favorite chocolate, a chair, a book, etc which are all examples of solids. In a solid, the particles are closely packed. There is a strong force of attraction between the particles and the intermolecular spaces are almost negligible. Since they cannot move freely, they have low kinetic energy. They only vibrate to and fro about their mean positions. This makes the solids hard and rigid and hence cannot be squashed or compressed, giving them a fixed shape. They also have a fixed volume and cannot flow. Do you know in which state water, coffee and milk exist? Yes, you are right if you said they exist in liquid state. The particles in liquids are not very closely packed. The intermolecular forces of attraction are not as strong as in case of solids. Thus, the intermolecular spaces are larger. The particles being loosely packed make liquids more compressible. The particles are able to move freely and randomly and hence have higher kinetic energy as compared to solids. This makes a liquid flow and take the shape of the container into which it is poured. Thus, liquids do not have definite shape but have a fixed volume. Finally, let us look at gases. An example of gases are smoke coming out of a chimney, gas in a balloon, etc. In case of gases, the intermolecular forces of attraction are negligible. The molecules lie far apart from each other and the intermolecular spaces are therefore very large. Hence, they are not rigid and can be compressed. The forces of attraction are so weak that the particles of gases are free to move within the entire space available to them. They have high kinetic energy. During motion, these particles collide with each other and also with the walls of the container. As a result, gases have neither a fixed shape nor a fixed volume. They completely fill up the space available to them. So I hope now you understand the concept of states of matter. Yes, now I am able to appreciate the role matter plays in our universe.